What's up everybody, I'm AJ. We're gonna be talking about Caesar Easy Subly product today. This is a nice product to be able to go um, on all sorts of different garments, but it's a material that can be sublimated. So we have a transfer here. This is printed through a Sawgrass SG500, uh, or this one is printed through an SG1000. Um, so this is just with a regular Sawgrass ink. We have our sheet of Caesar Easy Subly material here. This one's already just been contoured cut. So when we do this today, we're just gonna apply material to the garment and then we're gonna sublimate that product after it's on the garment. This material can actually be ran through an SG500 or an SG1000 using Caesar Easy Subly ink. Um, but today we're just gonna show you how to sublimate it because it's actually doable that way as well. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna weed this product and it's just a contour of this cat holding the coffee cup so everybody knows. So this is a non-stick liner. So once you weed it, um, you can't stick it back down. As you can see, my hand isn't sticking to that at all. This material can be cut out um, after it's been printed or like we're doing it now, nothing printed on it yet. So there is a mask that you can do. This is already printed. I would use an application heat mask, place it on here, peel it up and then bring it to the garment. But today we're just gonna hand place this actual transfer on the garment once we get it lined up and then we're gonna sublimate it. We're gonna apply this material right now. All we're doing is just putting the Easy Subly onto the garment. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna peel this off a of hand. So the adhesive is the part that's touching the liner. Just have to remember that. And we're gonna press this at 310 for eight seconds. I could put this on my garment right away, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim a couple of the corners by the ear and by the elbows here. And what that's gonna do is let me line it up a little bit better. I won't trim out the rest of this paper. That's just, uh, it's unnecessary at this time. So I'm just gonna kind of come down here where some of the details are. Now that I have my registration marks kind of cut, I'm gonna use those as registration marks on how I cut it. That's gonna help me line it up. What I'm gonna do now is set my heat press at 385, more of a sublimation temperature, and that's where we're gonna press the actual ink into the Easy Subly at. Anything that doesn't have ink or if the ink overlaps will go into the garment. Um, parts that don't have any ink on them, of course, will stay white. With this design, we actually are gonna leave a white outline um, with our transfer. So really what I'm gonna do is just to make sure everything kind of stays aligned where I need it. I'm just gonna use a little thermal tape. Thermal tape is just a heat safe tape that can um, stick to your garment, hold your transfer in place. Nothing's gonna ruin it. It's not gonna leave adhesive or anything on your garment or anything like that. Just kinda holds everything in place and doesn't burn or anything under the heat press. So we have our heat press at 385 degrees. We're gonna press this for 30 seconds. So you can take your shirt off the platen if you wanted to. I'm gonna leave mine on there just cause it's a nice working place. Tape is gonna come off. With that, we're just gonna peel the transfer off. You can see there's a little bit of ink left over. That's fine, that's normal for sublimation. This is a cotton shirt, and we used sublimation and Caesar Easy Subly to put a graphic right on there. So everybody, that's a great way how to use a Sawgrass SG500 or a Sawgrass SG1000 to use regular sublimation on Caesar Easy Subly material. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more, go to our YouTube channel or follow us on our other social media sites. Like and share and comment with others and good luck pressing. Thank you.